now that the tooltip structure for our items is in place, we can start creating the tooltip structure for our spells. Later we will add some more tooltips for items like uh, armors with strength and stamina and stuff, but I would like to get the uh, tooltip out of the way for the um, spells as well before we start doing that. So that's what we're going to do in this video. To make sure that our spells can create this tooltip, we will have to go up to the top here and make sure that it is iDescribable. Because remember, everything that we need to show a tooltip on needs to be iDescribable. So you can just right click on it and implement the interface and go all the way down here. And if you can't implement it, just write it yourself like this. Okay, so let's try to do one step at a time. We can return string.format and we need to write the title so let's see here zero so that's just the title and the title is basically the name so remember the spell is not a mono behavior so i am totally fine by using the name um, as a variable name here before I didn't use the name, I used title instead because it was inheriting from Mona behavior which has a name variable on it itself uh, already, but this one doesn't. So let's just try to do like this, name, and save this. So this is the get description function and it, it's very simple right now. So where did we get the description for our spells? Well, we did it on the action buttons. And all the way down here we outcommented some code on the action buttons. So we need to comment that back in so that it works. And basically we need to make sure that it works both for spells and for um, for items. Right now we are working with spells, so let's just do it for spells right now. So I describable temporary is null. Okay. So this is our I describable. And if my usable is null, then I would say temporary equals my usable and uh, let's call my usable there this is going to give you an error saying well we can't convert like this we need to make a cast so i'm going to cast it into a i describable and basically we would also have to do like this and um, my usable just to make sure is i describable Basically, this check here, in this case, I don't think it's 100% necessary, but it's, it's good to have it. So we check if my usable is iDescribable before we do this cast. If we don't do this check and we for some reason add an item, add a usable that isn't describable, then we will get a null reference here and the pro program could crash. So just to make sure we don't get a null reference when we try to do this line, we do this first. So it's always good to check if something is of a specific type before you cast to it. So if that done, <coughs> we can go down here and say, well, if my temporary isn't null. So if this one isn't null, then we have been inside this if statement and we can say UI manager dot my instance dot show tooltip transform that position temporary <coughs> so because we created this show tooltip function it's very easy for us to show a tooltip when something is i describable because the show tooltip function just takes all the info it needs from the describable item or oh, yes so let's try so if i take any thing i put here and a mouse over it says it's a thunderbolt Frostbolt, Fireball. Okay, so now we have a tooltip that shows the names of the spells. That's a start. Let's go back to spell. So what else do we need to do here? Well, let's try to show the cast time. So we need to make a new line and we need to write cast time. And I need a space here, I think. And we need to show it in seconds. Okay, so we need to put in the cast time. So we write the title, new line, write cast time. Let's see how it looks. Just test with one of them, right? Don't need to test with all. 
There we go. So now we have Thunderbolt. The cast time is one second. So seconds with an S. Well, you can do like this. Okay, with that done, we need to make a description somehow. Okay, so let's make a description by creating a field so that we can make a custom description put on all our um, what's it called all our spells so let's just do it somewhere here oh and so it needs to be a serialized field so with that description added we can start saying well we need to write the description somewhere and we can do that by after the seconds here we can make a new line and we can write um, that causes some description like fire damage frost damage or whatever damage oh wait I got ahead of, ahead of myself I think let's just make a new line and write two like this because we, we have the description outside I forgot we just created a serialized field up here and we're going to write the description outside of course so we don't need to write it down here sorry um, so zero cast time one second and then new line and the description so see how do we add the description then because there is no prefabs for the spells well, remember the spells are actually created in the spellbook. So canvas, and we need to go to our uh, menus, find the spellbook, and if you look here, there's a description under each spell. So we can just write a description right there to, um, yeah, get a description on the uh, on the on the tooltip. So let's just write with the fireball. Let's use that as an example. So froze a fiery spell at the target so this is the tooltip it throws a fire spell at the target let's try take the fireball put it down here mouse over well we have a fireball with a cast time of 2.5 seconds and it throws a fiery spell at the target okay i think i want to change some of the colors right the color that describes um, that, that has the description. I would like to change that color to make it look a little more interesting because right now the text is plain white, white and I don't want that. Let's just make a color here and make it into this color here. You can use your own color of course and let's just end the tag here. And save. Then we go back here. Let's try again with the fireball. Okay, so this looks a little better now. We have a fireball with a cast time two point five seconds, and uh, the description is highlighted in another color. So the reason I'm doing this is because that's the way World of Warcraft does it. So I just want to copy that just to show you that you can do it like that. We also need to show the damage, and. To show the damage, we can simply just make a new line. This is where I was before. After two, we make a N and write that causes an amount of damage, which should be in index three, like that. And then we can just make a comma and write damage and save. So if we save now, we should be able to see the full tooltip that makes sense for us. Uh, not Thunderbolt, we want to do it with the Fireball there. So we cast uh, Fireball to 5 seconds, throws a fire spell at the target that causes 5 damage, where everything is highlighted. So now we can see that it's 2.5 cast time and it's a 5 damage spell. So if I mouse over this one, there is something missing. Just writes that causes 5 damage because we haven't write, written a description. So let's just do that. Let's open up the spell book and go to our frostbolt and in here we need to write a description you can find you can f like come up with anything i'm just going to write a uh, launches a bolt of frost at the target 
This one should be strikes an enemy with a thunder bolt. There we go. This is just like some random descriptions. So let's try. Let's put all the spells down here on our bar. Mouse over them, throws a fiery spell at the target that causes 5 damage. Launches a bolt of frost at the target that causes 5 damage. Strikes an enemy with a thunderbolt that causes 5 damage. Okay, so now we have custom descriptions for all our spells that we can read on our action bar. So now we have the basics in place for all um, the tooltips, both for the tooltips for spells and the tooltips for items. Um, later or in the next video we will be adding items with more stats for example helmets and um, or, or some other armor so that we can actually see a tooltip with some more text on it thanks for watching my video please remember that inscope studios is a community found page so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return